New York City is far better off because it provides in many respects a kind of sanctuary for immigrants and immigrants who work here are not being subjected to um, deportation and arrest and, and some of the practices that we see in other parts of the country. I mean, I think that New York City is a very diverse, integrated society that's done an excellent job of bringing people from all over the world together and um, ensuring that they cooperate. I don't think there are many cases of ethnic or racial bias in New York City compared to other parts of the country in the world. So I'm, I'm grateful to actually all of our recent mayors have really said that it's not acceptable, for example, for police to, or city officials to report undocumented people to federal authorities. And I think that's very valuable and has contributed to the quality of our life here. We're not in a situation in New York City where we're what watching fellow New Yorkers being <laughs> having their rights trampled on. New York is, is kind of blended, but down south the most immigrants that we see are the, the Mexican workers. In New York the immigrants kind of adapt to our way of you know, dressing, our way of the music we like to listen to. And it also depends on what area they're living in. Because I've noticed now that a lot of Puerto Ricans live in Bushwick. A lot of um, Mexicans live in Sunset Park. A lot of West Indians live in Crown Heights. And if they stick to those rural areas, they still, you know, keep their culture. But if they migrate into the other parts of Brooklyn that have mostly um, American-born people like Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brownville, they seem to adapt to our living surroundings. But in North Carolina, it's totally segregated. Like, the Mexicans, everyone is like, oh, Mexicans. Like, they're not used to it. Like, in New York, you see somebody, they're from a different country, is appealing to you. You want to know about their culture and their country. And people even go on vacation there. In the South, it was totally different. On the beginning, actually, socialists is only with the Polish people, Polish people because of the language or the culture. And um, then it's changed a little. I still have a Polish friends, but I have a lot of a lot of different nationalities. Uh, not necessarily uh, immigrants. Some citizens, some immigrants. In my block, for example, there is a we count lately was a is it thirteen houses and eight nationalities. Mm -hmm. I believe so. It's just in my block, and all of us are all of us we consider ourselves as a neighborly, uh, friendly neighbors. Uh, we create over here like a little community, nobody bothers nobody, but everybody watching for each other. New York is a stew pot, so we have all different ethnic groups here, and from the time of my birth, or my earliest recollections, uh, I've always interacted with people from other countries. But I know in New York, for example, basically, the police does not cooperate with the federal government mm -hmm. in, uh, in harassing immigrants. So immigrants are somewhat better off here. Do you think that's a positive or a negative? negative? I think it's positive. Why? Uh, because I think, on balance, I think, what, even illegal immigrants have rights because they're human beings. And I really am a strong defender of human rights. and my always I've always had co-workers who are immigrants and my family my grandparents and um, um, yeah I mean many of our friends I, they're just kind of woven into my regular life <laughs> yeah because people come in bringing um, culture and skills and knowledge and um, you know so, think about so many of our artists who are immigrants and people who I mean, just all different parts of life, um, whether it's, you know, um, artists or builders or doctors or anything. I mean, people, so many people bring what they have from other places and then we get to benefit from that. So I definitely think it makes New York better. We see immigration as being uh, an overall big benefit uh, to our society. You, know, you look around New York City and um, uh, the great diversity and the great sort of vitality and richness that we have 
is in large part because we have such an amazing population of people who come from all over the world. And so um, I think New Yorkers, most New Yorkers, inherently understand the value of that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think it's inherent in our job to try to show that to people in other places as well. I am treated differently, and it doesn't bother me. It, um, it doesn't bother me because I rationalize how people think. It's not their fault. They were born with um, a bit of racism, I should say, but that's how the world is. And the way to be successful and get around that is to understand and accept how people think and not be angry at them, but basically uh, do better than them and stay away from the negative people. Now, how does that affect your business? It affects the business. Uh, the Jake's Barbecue Restaurant, which is a barbecue restaurant, it's an all-American style restaurant. It's uh, People want to blend in with a traditional type of cuisine, which is ribs and chicken, all-American type of food fare. And when they see an Oriental, a Chinese person, trying to make the food for them, first they're a little bit skeptical. They don't want to come into your place because they have already visualized beforehand that there would be, for example, black or white people working in the restaurant rather than an Asian, but and some of them walk out, they don't like it, but others who have tasted the food and come, have come to the restaurant appreciate the experience.